Hey guys, um, this is a tutorial on how to create a Google Cloud VPN for Clash of Clans bot. Um, so to get started, we will have um, to get to cloud.google.com slash compute and after you have, you have signed in, you will come to a page like this and they will ask you to do this to create a new project so you write out any name you want for your project name like um, coc bot or anything like that and then you just click create after creating you will have you will see all these all these things here and do not touch any of these and you will have only have 300 because I have used it so I left with $141 so when you come inside here go to compute uh, compute engine and go to VM instance after you are there click on new instance after that create the name you want small letters only and select the area you are at or close to so I'm like at Asia East so for machine type choose 2 vCPU 7.5 bit and click select and for boot disk choose Windows Server 2012 do not choose 2008 as it will not work and you can change it to S if I to run and then click create. So once you are done creating, um, you will have this. Once you have this, go into it and click on these three buttons, three dots, and click download the RDP file. Okay, so once you're done, wait 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, Create or reset Windows password. Click and then you click. Write the new username you want to, and like this, you will this username will be the default. So if you change, so please don't change it. So um later on I will show you how to run it twenty four seven. Because whenever you go out of the, of the of the of the RDP, you will the bot will stop. But then I will show you how. To make it not stop. Okay, so leave it as it is and click on set, and then you will get a password. So once you get a password, you will have to as it this is the downloaded RDP file which I ask you to do, download from the three dots. So once you open it, click on connect, and here will be the password. So the password. Please save it somewhere so that you will remember in case you lost it or something went wrong and connect. After connecting, you will come up with this. Okay, so um, I have came in and did some modifications to it already. So once you're in, local uh, server manager will pop up. So go to local server and you will see all this. So go to Windows file wall and go to turn windows fire or firewall on or off uh, turn it to off both of them and uh, once that's done uh, go to windows update and change settings and never check for update not recommended but you should do that and for the internet explorer and hunt security configuration turn both off and once they're done refresh so you do not need to touch this anymore. So now for blue stacks. Okay, so bot you can download you, you should download it from the Internet Explorer inside here, which is here. And then you can um, download whatever you want. So once you are done, run my bot and they will ask you to download something from Microsoft. Please download it straight away and I'll give you a link. So, if you want to do it without the VPN, you can use the link that I will be putting down in the description.
so we don't want this anymore so sit down go to blue stack and run me first i will link the blue stacks in the description below so we can just download it straight away so run click y click any button so run blue stacks and play it is that Okay, so while you are while BlueStack is installing, you can go to go back here and create a new Windows password. So I'm gonna make one username which is called Dan. Okay, so it's set, and I will receive a password. So you might take a few minutes or a few seconds. Depends on the connection. So you're not done. Okay, so once I've gotten this, let me copy. Let me copy it and close. And then you don't need that anymore. So if that's on here, you will have your main, your default username, and your second created username. Click save and go back to in there again. So it will have been is done. So okay, so this is a very crucial step. Once you log in to BlueStack, log into your account, download Clash of Clans, and log into your account. Once you have done that, once you have logged into your account, um, click on Run Me Last. Um, to save time, I will not show you how to do that. As it is straightforward. As to when you create your, when you sign into your Google account, download Clash of Clans and sign into your Clash of Clans account using your account. I hope you get what I mean. So once you download Clash of Clans, log into your account and close. Clash, I, I wait. I think do not close. Just leave it like that. Like leave it on your. Just when you log into your Clash of Clans, leave it as it is. Leave it as a. Uh, and don't touch it and then come out to blue stacks blue stacks folder and click on run me last so they will say that this the blue stacks will be stopping and it will change the modificate the it will modify the blue stacks res resolution so click y and then click yes uh if you want memory click yes you have 7.5 bit you want to send Modify sync key to enter. Uh, I don't think it's really on. If you want, you can click yes. So everything is done. Blue stack size has lowered down. So to show you that it works, to to show you how to run it twenty four seven, I'll show you. Um oh, I'll show you something like that. So yeah. So now you already have created your second account. Uh, close it and right open it and go into your rdp again use another account and click on and type in your your second username and password once you have done that you will be logging into your second account there won't be anything on it and you do not to do and do not need to do anything here go and search for remote desktop and click on it and then show more options okay so this is the part type in 127.0.0.1 then the username is awk 10 10 allow me to save click on this go out get your main account password and then connect so once you have done that you are at your second your at your first account. So this will run twenty four seven and I have used it and it is very efficient and it got me um um full full resources in one day. So yeah. Uh thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Goodbye.